If you're considering taking on a new dog, One Local Rescue for Love of Dogs has many that are looking for good homes. And today we've got uh, Ivy and Little Debbie, of course, you as well. But I think everybody at this point is probably paying attention to little <laughs> puff balls on your lap. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Of course. Uh, so I will say that we actually... Um, adopted Gus from For Love of Dogs. Wonderful. And it was such an awesome addition to our family. And now these little guys, I think you said one is just about ready for adoption, still young yet. They're both six weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, they will be available for adoption at eight weeks. So they are not currently available, but they will be shortly. Um, they come with uh, their first round of Distemper Parvo and Bordetella at um, at 12 weeks, they'll get another uh, distemper parvo, and then at 16 weeks, a third one. Wow. And then um, we do ask that they are uh, spayed and neutered by the time they reach seven months, mm -hmm. and um, and that's all part of our contract. It's all all of these figures are on the website. Um, and yeah, you know, I found that part really interesting because I I had never adopted a dog. I had dogs as a, a child and all of that sort of thing, but. I had never gone out to adopt one on my own as an adult, and I found it a very thorough process that you know, you, you're not just giving them to anybody who wants a dog, you're vetting them to make sure that you know, they're prepared for everything that comes with having a dog, as well as checking references to make sure that right. the people that are around you cooperate your story of you being prepared to have a dog. Um, and I think that's great because the last thing that you want is to send a dog to a home. Maybe that's not the best home for them or, or they get returned even. Correct. Um, so yes, there was a lot to the adoption process, but in a good way. And one of the things um, that brought me to Bailey that we had a little bit earlier in the show from the Laughing Dog was that in the contract as well, they need to have some training. Correct. And so we found Bailey and then we were able to get her on the show. But I think that is great because your transition to getting a dog um, bringing them home and making them part of your family without any of that <laughs> intervention is going to be a little bit challenging. Um, so you also have a foster program. We do. We are actually a foster-based uh, rescue. Um, so we like to have our dogs in foster homes. That way, um, you know, when they are at the shelter and kennels, they, they don't really decompress too much and um, they can be really stressed out. Mm -hmm. And so we like to have them in foster homes. One to see how they really interact and, and get their personalities out, um, you know. Which they have big yeah. personalities. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and just see how they are in a house. You know, sometimes we find out, oh, they're not good for apartments. They bark sure. a lot. Or, you know, this dog is going to need a fence or, you know. I think that's so valuable too, being able to, um, you know, go on your website and see the different dogs and have a little bit of a bio so that you understand this dog is good with kids, this dog is good with cats or not, or, you know, that helps you really kind of narrow down your search and know what would be a good fit for your home, right. what would not be a good fit for your home. Right. And that's, that's the reason that we do kind of the extensive vetting process as, as you described, you know, just yeah. to make sure that, that we find a good dog that fits with you. You know, we're not trying to just throw a dog out and get it adopted, you know, we want to make sure that the dogs and the homes are perfect for each other. You know, like mm -hmm. you said, we don't, we don't want the dogs coming back to us. That can be really stressful for them as well. Yeah, and you had mentioned that you're a foster driven program, um, but For Love of Dog is a nonprofit and it is volunteer run, correct? So, 100%. yeah, what kinds of needs do you guys have that maybe if somebody out there is watching, they're like, I'm not quite ready for a dog, but I would love to help you know, dogs be more comfortable or find their forever home or get what they need. Is there anything that we can help with? We have tons of volunteering opportunities. Um, everything from foster homes. Uh, we do have a building uh, that does have some kennels at it. Um, and so we need building volunteers. So, mm. you know, if you just want to walk dogs, great. We have three shifts a day. Um, that And that's not just walking dogs and cleaning, you know, you're also socializing with them. And uh, we have a lot of college students who come and just do their homework and dogs like to just lay on the couch oh. with them. Oh. Um, you know, but we also, uh, you know, as part of uh, that, like the background checks, not background checks, but you know, the that's reference yeah. checking and, and going through applications and calling vets and, um, you know, all of that. Uh, we have, um, I'm the fundraising coordinator, so we have a lot of um, events that we do, you know, so we always need volunteers there as well. And I mean, if, they, if, if you want to help, we probably have an opportunity for you. Oh, 
is awesome. So the information is on your screen. Reach out to For Love of Dog Rescue. Um, it's easiest, honestly, if you go on their website and you fill out the contact form, get a hold of them that way because they're volunteer run. So it's, you know, it's not like somebody's sitting at a desk waiting for an email to come in. Uh, but get in touch with them to see the dogs they have on their website as well, but also volunteer opportunities if you want to get involved in that. And maybe you're not ready to take a dog home, but you have enough love in your heart to uh, come and help and walk a little bit. So thank you yes. again for what you do. Yeah, thank you for having we're us. We miss these little guys <laughs> when they leave the studio. Well, coming up next, we have your daily dose of motivation.